Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, eh, sucking wind a little bit. So I borrowed Greg's pike and uh, I wanted to focus in here because that's what I needed the pike for to get things moving so that I could cut them, I could turn them, and because uh, these are pretty good size uh, logs. Uh, I focused on that before I started filming, so I got that one all done. And I think that was the biggest one. All right, so uh, today, today's Friday. It is the 7th of May, 2021. Uh, just a quick reminder, I will be live streaming tonight. So I would ask you all to join me then for that. Uh, we'll have a good discussion and uh, I think it'll be, uh, it'll be good. So I definitely would like to have you all join me for that. Um, I'm not sure what the topic's going to be yet. i got to come go in the house, sit down, and figure it out. So today, uh, I've been working on a couple different things. Uh, the first thing I had to do was I had to go buy more uh, cracked corn and uh, feed for the birds on another 100 pounds of each. And then I had to rotate everything. So I had to put uh, in the cans, you know, like uh, 50 pounds of uh, feed in the one can, 100 pounds of cracked corn in another can. And then, uh, like I said, I bought the new stuff and I put the oldest stuff into the other cans. Uh, like I put 100 pounds of regular feed 
in another can so that'll be the oldest that's what I'll pull out first when I go to add that to the other feed and then uh, so I did that first uh, I knew rain was coming they were saying that rain was going to be here by this afternoon it was going to be like 90 percent so uh, I cut the grass uh, through here and through the front as much as I possibly could uh, we got to clear out more of this brush out of here so that I can get in there better but uh, so I did this part here hit through here and uh, all along there and over on the other side of the other driveway so I got that done and uh, then there was I'll show you what because I, I, I wanted to get this one spot ready uh, so I'll show you what I was working on as well so yesterday um, I don't think I ever gave an egg count for yesterday uh, the egg count for yesterday was 11 we ended up with 11 eggs for yesterday so hopefully that'll help you with your guesses tonight so uh, I pulled this pallet up and I raked out this area here because what I want to do um, that other area is going to be you know eventually back to grass I would imagine but this area here is going to all be stone. So I pulled up this pallet that was sitting here. That's where the first uh, pallet of blocks was. And I, uh, I raked that all out in preparation of putting stone in this whole area. So that's going to be uh, one of the upcoming projects here soon. And uh, because once I get the stone moved from over here and get all that where I want it to be, then I'm going to call my wood guy and tell him to start bringing me some wood. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, weather's cool today. We're in the 50s. It's starting to sprinkle now. Uh, so what I may do is I may jump off here pretty quickly. Uh, try to get a little bit more done before the weather really starts uh, opening up on me here. But uh, I figured, hey, you know, the rain was holding off. I might as well get some stuff done. So that's what I'm working on. And uh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to roll this one as much as I can to get it out of where it's like buried in there. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get that one. I don't know if that's attached to anything. We'll find out when we get to that point. But uh, yeah, so it's coming along. But uh, real happy with getting uh, some of these cleaned up. And obviously now we got more rounds, right? So. Uh, but uh, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll get things squared away and uh, we'll be good to go. But uh, just trying to get continue to work at this and uh, and get things uh, you know in better shape. And then when Bill comes in with a bulldozer, you know this will make it a lot easier uh, at that point. And so like all this here, I don't know if you guys can tell or not. This is really old punky wood. This has been down here. Um, these trees have been down for eight years. Uh, so when we first bought the property. I had Bill come in and uh, clean out uh, over in this area, over by the shop, and uh, so then we had him, I had him just, yeah, just push it all up here. Uh, I wish I had said push it back, but, uh, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, of course, but uh, we're working on that now, so, but, uh, yeah, this needed to be squared away so we can continue on with what we want to do here, and uh, so it's coming, it's coming, but, uh, yeah, that rain is starting to come better now. So anyway, um, that is the projects of the day. Just trying to get some stuff done. Tomorrow is supposed to be a complete washout. Uh, later, late afternoon, the rain is supposed to stop tomorrow because it's going to start now and it's going to rain all night and then uh, into the afternoon tomorrow. So I'm thinking tomorrow is not going to be an outside day, but. Uh, you know, I wanted to try to get some stuff done, and, uh, you know, I just figure if I bang out it a little bit at a time, then, and there we are. So, that's what I'm doing, and uh, pretty happy. Like I said, just uh, getting what I just got done done uh, makes me feel good. Uh, there's absolutely more to do. You can see a log right here. Like, you see the end there, and the other end is there. I got to pull that out of there so that I can cut that up. So, I'm going to have to use the pike for that to get it to where I can. It's not a big log but it's buried in the crap and I don't want to, uh, you know, use the chainsaw and all that dirt and stuff like that. So, uh, cause that's how you eat your blades up. So, but anyway, so that's where we're at today. Uh, just to, like I said, productive day, uh, trying to be productive. Uh, th when the weather's, I'll be honest with you guys, when the weather is like it is today, uh, overcast, cloudy, cold, uh, my motivation is just not what it needs to be. 
but uh, I'm looking at the 10-day forecast and we're having overcast cloudy days moving forward for quite a while. So uh, I know I need to, um, <laughs> look at Miss Molly, um, I know I need to, uh, you know, get things done. So then I'm going to, you know, after, after tomorrow's rain, then I think we've got like four days of uh, no rain, but colder temperatures and stuff and overcast. But that's okay. I'll get out here and I'll get stuff done. Here's Mr. Buddy over there, just chilling out. I bet if I walk over there, he'll go right to the door. Let's let's see if he does that. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now uh, so I can try to get a little bit more work done before this rain really comes in. A light sprinkle's not going to stop me, but uh, the other ones will <laughs> once it gets more steady. Uh, so anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I hope you've had a great week, and I look forward to our chat this evening. Uh, like I said, again, not sure what the topic's going to be yet. You'll have to look to see what that's going to be, but uh, it'll be a fun discussion no matter what. Uh, so remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. I think people do lose sight of that sometimes. Uh, we are one race called the human race. It's an amazing thing, uh, you know, but they try to separate us by class, distinction, religion, politics, and race. So not good, not good. And as uh, soon as we can see through all that BS and focus on the real issue, will be in much, much better shape. And of course, that is big business, which is trying to control everything, and the government, which is also trying to control everything. So uh, also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, favorite saying. Uh, remember also, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I will have STD tattooed on my body. So that should be fun, um, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, okay, so um, step thing and day, one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. The only one that is going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Uh, stay away from the negative people that want to bring you down and tell you what you cannot do, what you cannot accomplish, because they are full of crap. Okay. Uh, I will see you all this evening, and uh, I look forward to it. Looking to see here a while before we jump off. Yeah, the potatoes are coming up. Very cool, and you can see them over on that side as well. And Miss Molly's helping. Are you going to help with the potatoes, Molly? Huh? You going to help with the potatoes? So, all right, guys. I will see you tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Prepper Nurse One out for now.